so yeah, welcome to our, our Monday Mastermind call. Melanie, thank you for jumping on with us today. Appreciate your time. I do have a few announcements and then I'll get going right over to you. But um, yeah, this is a, a group of, of nine to 15 star diamonds um, from our Northeast, Southeast regions. We actually have a lot of people from not even these, some of these regions. Some of them started with me years ago. This, this mastermind group has been running for two and a half years. Um, we, we ran all of 2016, all of 2017. And so far we're still together and we've added more and we've got, we've got a great group. So it's a good little consortium cohort of, of leaders. And, uh, we share a lot and we have a lot of fun and, and we have the best, uh, thread I've ever seen. Um, <laughs> so it's a, it's a great group. We appreciate you jumping on today. But hey, just to, uh, um, in terms of, of announcements, you guys just want to remind you that we still have, um, what, four days left here with to be mindset, um, on sale. It's $20 off through June 3rd. They get access to Ilana's group. So let's keep, you know, from a, from a marketing standpoint, that exclusive access, that time is limited, um, still an opportunity for people to get in and get the, you know, the $20 off uh, if they enroll between now and, or, you know, or buy the pack in between now and June 3rd. So just a reminder on that. Um, of course, through the end of May, so just a couple days here, we still have the Joel Bobblehead uh, available for anyone that hits success club. So be sure to, to get on that. And then just wanted to go over, um, a, a few new updates on the lift for launch. Um, as you know, that will go on sale on June 11th, right? Big day, the Craig and Christy call your 19 anniversary wedding anniversary day and, uh, lift four goes on sale. Okay. So we, we, recognized that um, there was kind of a big gap right between June 11th and July 16th and as we begin to to navigate this we looked at an opportunity to maybe get some more content out there um, a la a little obsessed um, and so Joel will be recording um, four kind of modified lift four workouts so they'll be quick they'll be very instructional um, and uh, those will go be available for those that buy, you know, the pack or the bundle. We reviewed all the packs and bundles last week. If you have any questions on those, please hit me up. Won't go over those again today. But anyone that buys a bundle will then get access to these four workouts um, that can be, you know, uh, used as a build up or as an intro sample workouts that go into, um, you know, July 16th when you know, all of the program will be released and uh, Joel's exclusive, you know, coach test group will begin. So just something else that you can use as, as you plan uh, your launch strategy with this. On June 4th, there will be what we're, it's called like a sample, I guess a sample workout. We've been calling it internally the Fitfomercial. It's not an infomercial, it's Fitfomercial. I don't think that term is going to be used outside of, you know, the, the, HQ here, but um, it'll be a sample workout that will be in front of the paywall. So beginning on June 4th, you can use that sample workout um, where Joel really goes through and talks about, you know, the purpose of the program. He overviews the program, the lift for lifestyle, um, and, you know, what the program is all about. And then, you know, demos through, um, you know, a, a sample workout with, with different moves that are used throughout the program. So that is a tool that you'll be able to use starting on June 4th to kind of sneak peek or, you know, work into the July 11th launch. So anyway, sample workout June 4th, June 11th program goes on sale with the purchase of any pack or bundle. Um, they will get the four um, kind of warm up workouts, you know, that can be used to roll um, into the program. So any questions on lift for launch? If you guys need as well, maybe what I'll do is, is send a, put a list in our thread as well of the lift for test group people that I, that are in our test group and have been doing a really good job and might be, 
um, great resources for you guys to have on team calls or to record a video that you can put into your units on um, Facebook if you're doing a, a unit based um, you know info group or sneak peek group um, I'll give you a list of, of who's in that so that uh, they can they can help out with that of course we have some people in our mastermind group that are in that in that test group um, Moyer Kasava comes to mind there may be others after have, have to look through but you know I'll send a list out so you know who to be networking with that can maybe help you out with that okay all right that was a mouthful. Um, if you have any questions on any of those things, specifically on, on Lift for Launch, let me know and, and I'll continue to try to get resources out to you guys on that so we can, we can make that a powerful uh, launch as we, we head into a summit in the summer here. Um, I, now I'm gonna turn the time over to Melanie then. Melanie, thanks for jumping on our call today. One of the things that our group has been talking a lot about is you know most everyone here you know, within the group has had a great experience with 2B Mindset. It's been a fantastic launch for the company. We've brought in a lot of new, you know, um, customers and new, you know, discount coaches, people that signed up as a coach, right, to get into Alana's group. So a lot of our discussion has been around how to kind of navigate these, you know, these new customers through the program and then, um, you know, guide them into the, you know, a, a coaching opportunity or becoming advocates of the opportunity and, and great ways to do that. And I know that's something that uh, you're very intentional about and uh, appreciate you being on here to, to maybe share some ideas of how uh, you work this process. And then, um, you know, we'll open it up to any questions that you guys have for Melanie. So take it away, Mel. All right. Hi, guys. Well, thanks for having me. I appreciate it. I feel like it's the post holiday. I'm like in a, in a zone today. It's not, nothing's quite moving yet. It's the second cup of coffee and still not there. So I'm going to do my best. Um, I made, I just made a list of some of the things that I have been doing since to be mindset launched, even before it launched to kind of think about how strategically I would get people to just start thinking about how they would share their results with other people right from the get go. And so I'm going to kind of walk you through how I've infiltrated, infiltrated that into my challenge groups now, and then kind of how the sneak peeks kind of roll into that. Um, and I'll try to give you lots of examples, but at the end, just ask me questions or I can elaborate on anything for you. I am happy to do that. So the first thing that I do in that challenge group, in my To Be Mindset group, which I am running it on Facebook, and I the unit thing sort of came about like halfway, right when it started. So I've just been adding all of my posts um, and making them into units, and that has worked out really, really well for me. But I make them like every single week. I go in and we do sort of like a pounds lost. So every single Friday. I've been saying, okay, you know, from from last Friday to this Friday, what I have sort of like a check-in where we talk about like what have your results been from your mindset, from your fitness side of it, um, what has been your pounds lost, have you taken progress pictures, and I've been having them sort of in the comments below give me sort of like a weekly update. And so we're like, what, this we're starting our third week this week right now. And so we've got two of those, and I've been encouraging them to also I put in a question there, have you shared this with anybody else yet, right? Or have you talked to anybody else about the program or what you're doing? So I'm like asking them that question just to kind of get their mind going about whether or not like that people are asking them questions about their results. So that's been really great. So every single week we do on Friday, we do this check in. Um, and so that's kind of helping me. I take that number of pounds that has been lost throughout the group. And then I have been making Instagram stories about it. I work it into my shout outs. I work it into my advertising that I'm doing because I'm just sort of, I just kind of have a rolling to be mindset group. Um, so when somebody buys a to be mindset challenge pack, I made a little YouTube video that says, Thank you so much for buying to be mindset. You know, I'm going to add you to this Facebook group. This is how it works. Here's how you find the units. You know, this is what's required every day. So they can just jump right in and get going. So I don't have to keep starting new challenge groups every single month because um, it's all nutrition based and we can just kind of keep rolling with it. And then I figure like each month we'll have different themes. You know, it might be summer barbecues and cocktails and I'm just going to keep adding to it. So there's just tons of information that's housed in one group. 
group. So that's kind of how I am doing that. The second thing that I'm doing within the challenge group with the current customers that I have is that since this was the end of the second week, uh, we're going into week three, I know that their Shakeology orders are coming due. And so I sent out an email because I have everybody that purchased, I have them in a Google Street bucket that says, you know, purchase to be mindset. And so I just went down through, I, you know, selected everybody. I pulled them over into an email and I just checked in with them. And I just said, you know, how are you doing? Is there anything that you might be struggling with? Did you buy your kit and not start it? Like this is a safe place through private email to, to share any struggles that you're having. And then I did about two paragraphs about Shakeology and I talked a little bit about the fact that you need to give it 30 days to really feel the effects and then I talked a lot about my experience with Shakeology and how it took me a month to to really like it I didn't like it at first it was gritty and I gave them some recipes and then I talked about you know in the first two weeks these are the things that were happening to me and then at the end of the first month because I was consistent and I didn't give up and I knew it was good for me this is what was happening so I'm trying to encourage those ones that maybe aren't drinking it daily um, to give it a good try and then the other thing that I, I gave them was just a couple of Shakeology recipes too and then I gave them like the Shakeology chocolate and the no bake balls and just some different ways to work it in and then I said you know if I drink mine for breakfast this is what I make if I so I really want to make sure that I get through to them that importance of staying on Shakeology. And then the last paragraph in there said, about, hey, did you know that if you are not a coach, uh, you can save 25% on your next Shakeology order that will be shipping in the next couple of weeks. If you're loving it, if you'd like to order the beach bars or you foresee yourself continuing on and doing other programs, this would be a great opportunity for you. And then I go on to say, and if you have three friends that you think would want to do this with you, if you invite them along, you'll get your product paid for and you can invite them into our 2B Mindset group. So I was kind of setting them up like that was my that was kind of my first touch point with everybody that has been a part of that to be mindset group. Right. So and then at the end, I put uh, my link to my sneak peek, which I'll talk a little bit more about that, where I just said, like, hey, if the coaching opportunity does sound like something you would like to do, I'm running a sneak peek. Here's the link to join. You can check it out and see what it's all about. So that was my, my, um, my email that I sent out yesterday to kind of do a touch point there. Um, and then the other thing that I've rolled into my challenge group is personal development. So every single month, I pick a new book that I'm going to read. So we have done Miracle Morning, um, and, and we're doing Girl, Wash Your Face right now. And so we're going to do the five-second roll um, in June. And so what I do is I go back, and every Monday, I do like a Monday motivation. Um, I encourage them to get the book. They don't have to, but I go live. My goal is three times per week, and it's kind of sporadic. And I'll get the book out. I'll highlight a part of it that sticks out that I can relate to their fitness or their mindset, but I'm talking, I'm trying to groom them for coaching. I'm trying to, and even if not, it's just making them more positive people in general. So I'm really trying to work in all the different pieces. You know, have you shared this with anybody? Let's focus on your personal development and let's really talk about your results too. So I feel like that has, I've changed. That's something, the personal development I've been doing across the board for the past couple of months. And it's really, really worked out well. And I found like I was the only one talking about the personal development takeaway at first, but after a while people really started to get on board and that's been really fun, a fun way to get people interested. Okay, so another thing that I have been doing is at the end of each week when I ask them to take pictures, I've been asking them to take pictures in the same outfit, which was not something that I had been doing before, but there's a couple of coaches that I've sort of been like watching on Instagram that have done maybe 80 day obsession. And I've noticed they always do these before and after photos or progress, like their transformation Tuesdays and they're in the same outfit. And I always think that that's so impactful to see, you know, somebody's transformation. So I've been encouraging my challengers to do the same thing. And so I say to them, like, I want you to take your pictures in your same outfit every single Friday. And I want you to compare side by side. And then I'm telling them, download the Insta Collage app so you can put them side by side and then post it in the group. And then I want you to tell me what the changes are that you're seeing in your body. 
And so then I say, if you want to take it a step further and you really want to inspire somebody else, I challenge you to post this on your social media. And I give them like an example of what they can say and invite people to join them. So I'm really pushing them right from the get go. And there are a lot of people that are discount coaches in there. And so I'm giving them the wording, I'm giving them example posts. And because I know the marketing kind of on the other end, they're going to want those pictures later. I'm trying to kind of push them in that direction right from the start so same same outfit right grooming them with sample posts asking them to invite friends um, they're seeing me do like the total of pounds lost they're seeing the comments I'm tagging them um, in any of the posts that I'm doing and that's really getting people excited about the results that they're having all right and then the last thing that I'm doing is I have been running which I forget who told me about this that has been doing like three day sneak peeks once a week. Um, and so I was like, all right, I'm going to commit to this. So I did a sneak peek for the past two months now, every single week, like Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. And so what I've been doing is inviting all of the people that are in any of my challenge groups to join this sneak peek. And I've been talking about the fact that we have this incredible new program that is literally changing people's lives. It's Holly. Holly's on. She's the one that told me to do that. <laughs> um, but that's, so I've been talking about how this program literally is just, it's revolutionary. It's something that, you know, no other company has. It's something that really sets us apart from, you know, other companies. I've been talking more about our mission and, and how we can really serve other people. And as these to be mindset people are coming in, um, I'm asking them to comment and share about their experience so far. So I'm really asking them, you know, if they would share what their results have been like. Um, I've done a couple of those Facebook lives where it's kind of side by side, where I've interviewed some of my challengers before. And so that's been a really great way to incorporate this new program um, and for them to see other people's results and really kind of see like how they could step into that role of a coach right away from the get-go and it's empowering those new new people to just have that confidence to share it in their journey too because I think a lot of times you know where you're all at in your business people look at you as as the celebrity they and they see you sort of remove from the start and you may get that a lot well you don't understand what it's like to be starting your fitness journey or you've already been so successful you don't know what it's like to start out or they see you have this social media following but if you can kind of call on those new people it will give them that confidence and hope that they can do it too. So I found that to be extremely beneficial, not to just have my top coaches speaking in these sneak peeks, but to have new people or people that are still going through their fitness journey actually giving their story. And a lot of times that's through an interview because it's a little more guided and then it decreases that stress level or anxiety level that sometimes new coaches have whenever they're asked to present. So, um, so those are kind of the big things that I have been doing that have really helped me turn people that are currently challengers or discount coaches um, into actual working coaches and then I've also done one last thing where I have adapted my training a little bit so I have um, created some new launch post scripts for my coaches that that if they were a to be mindset customer, that this is how they could share, right? I mean, so I've taken some examples of like, if you were a brand new coach and you just signed up and you bought the to be mindset and you want to find three people, I have literally scripted out, this is how you would launch your business, you know, that you've linked arms with the company and that you're starting this new program that is going to focus on, you know, not restrictive eating, you know, all those kind of those touch points. And then I've said, you know, I'm inviting you to follow my journey or join with me and so I've been giving them that wording um, and examples of how to share their food and hashtags they can use and insta story examples and so since I have so many people coming in through that to be mindset channel it's empowering them and it's great duplication like they can share that with their new coaches that are getting started as well so those are some of the things that I have been doing that have really really worked well and so far I think every Everybody that came in might have like at least one customer that they signed up so I feel like so far it is actually working out pretty well um, for me so I will see how it goes but I kind of I hope that was enough like do you want to ask me some more questions and I'd be happy to kind of elaborate on what I'm doing
Yeah, guys, your your floor. Ask ask <laughs> Melanie questions. Oh, good, Kim. I'm glad. Yeah, the email follow up was really good. I think people love that because it was personal and they could respond with with questions. Um, and I think I'm going to send that out again next week. So next week will be the end of week three. I'll do the same kind of email next week with those people too. And then I am totally going to market to all my to be mindset people for lift four. Cause now they'll have 30 days of to be mindset in now, if they want to add in the fitness, this is the perfect time to add in the fitness component to it as well. So that'll be a good, just sort of you know, next step for people in their fitness. Great, simple tips. Can you give examples of interview questions when you do a sneak peek? So of somebody that has done to be mindset, is that what you're asking, Kristen? Where's Kristen at? Oh, she's not on video. Yes, for to be mindset. Okay, so first of all, like why did you, I don't know where my questions are at, um, let's see if they're up here. But usually I ask them whenever they first come in, I'll have them tell their story um, of why they decided to do the 2B Mindset program. You know, what was kind of the, the breaking point where they said, I have to make a change. Um, and then I have them talk about some of the obstacles that coming into, like, what were some of their fears that they had uh, when, it, when they were going to start the 2B Mindset program? What was the biggest changes they saw in the first week, um, not just on the scale, but also with their nutrition? Um, and then I'll ask them to say, like, what are their results now? Is this something they feel like they could do for the rest of their life? And then I say, how do you feel like you can use this program to inspire or, you know, um, impact somebody else that's close to you? And then I say, have you shared this with anybody? And then usually they say yes. And then I say, well, tell me how you shared it. And then they kind of walk through how they've shared it. So, and then I say, you know, what is your goal? You know, to, how, who do you want to inspire in this journey? Or what is your goal as a coach? And then they go on to share that and that kind of gives them um, and then I say oh what can you say to maybe somebody that is listening to this live video right now that might be really nervous or really hesitant to take the leap of faith and become a coach what can you tell them from you know for, as somebody that has only been doing this for just a few weeks what is a piece of advice you can give and that usually is perfect because they have all of the same fears that everybody on the other end has and that is probably the most impactful one of them all so that's kind of, yeah, that's what I do. Yeah. Hey, real quick, Melanie, just to, just to clarify, is that, is that interview one you do in your sneak peek or that you're yeah. doing in your challenge group? In the sneak peek. Okay. Okay. Yep. Thanks. That's the one I do in the sneak peek. The group that you do for the sneak peek, do you use the same group? So the people never leave the group? Yes, I do. I do. I've been keeping the same group. And then I just make it admin only. And then I just delete out all the content um, and then just redo it again. So I try to change it up every week so it doesn't get boring. And I, that's, so that was like, okay, to be mindset, let's throw that in there, you know? So I sort of like change it up so it's not exactly the same things. And then I'm always just making a list of questions or things that I, people keep asking me over and over again. And that's the stuff I kind of work in there and change it up. So yes, but you don't move them out of the sneak peek once they once they purchase or go into the success group. Calendar. No, I haven't been. Um, every once, like when a coach signs up, I will say to them, like, "Hey, if you don't want to stay in that group, like it's just a sneak peek. You can take yourself out." But sometimes they'll stay in there, and then sometimes they'll add their people into. Like I'll see so and so added, and I'll be like, "Oh, or is that somebody that's interested?" And then I can help them sort of move their people along too. Gotcha. Thanks. Kim, you, which idea? The weekly sneak peeks? I got that from Holly, I think. <laughs> I was like, that is genius. I'm going to try that. <laughs> it does. It really does. But I will tell you, if you're going to do the, like, start the monthly sneak peek idea, you have to, like, commit to it but like six weeks, I would say, I felt like it was so much work to get it up and running at first. And then nobody signed up the first week and I had lots of people in there and then like two people signed up the next week, but it was like, they had to hear it for at least four times before it like actually came to fruition. And so I just literally 
I get their name and their email. They go on my streak bucket. And I just like every month, every time I, every week I do another sneak peek, I send them another message. And so they're either, and I say like, I'm going to keep following up with you until you tell me to take you off the list or you actually sign up to be on my team. And so I've only had one person tell me to take them off the list. And sometimes they thank me and say, thank you for following up. I'm just not ready yet. So I just try to throw them as much information as possible, but it does work. But I just want you to know, like if it doesn't work, the first week, like you're not alone. And then some weeks they're really chatty and some weeks it's like dead silence. So it, it really just depends on the crew that's in there. Uh, during those three days, how active is the post? It is all live. Um, and I do two posts a day and they're not, so I started instead of, I used to be like at 9am, I'm going to go live and it, and I'm like, no, this is not working for me. So I just have two windows. Um, and so I have from eight to noon and then I try to do it from three to six at some point during those two times I go live and I number them post number one, and then I give them a title. Um, and then, so sometimes it's all me and then sometimes I split it up. So I took you know, six posts, seven posts. And then I, like some weeks, my leaders will say, okay, I'll take this post. I'll take this post. And then sometimes we're all going live at different times. So I just, every week I'm playing around with it, trying to just try new things, let them listen to new people, but kind of the, the schedule is kind of the same, but we'll, we'll change it up if we need to, but that's kind of how, how it goes. Are they all the same topics? Um, yeah, it is kind of all the same topics. I mean, for the most part, the things that I've added, it's like, you know, what is coaching? Um, what is the role of a coach? We talk about what are the other things do I do a day in the life of a coach, but I do a day in the life of a coach as someone that has young kids at home. And then I do a day in the life of a coach as somebody that works full time, because I think that that gives two really good perspectives. So we'll do that. We will talk about like vision and mission. That's something that I just put in last week, which was really good. So, you know, our tendency is to want to talk people into signing up as a coach. And one of the things that I learned last week from Entree Leadership was like, you don't want, you want people that are going to join you because of your vision and your mission, not because they think that they're going to earn a lot of money really fast. And so when I close out my group last week, instead of going in there and telling them all the reasons they should sign up, I told them what kind of qualities I was looking for. And if they didn't have these qualities and they didn't have a work ethic, that this wasn't the place for them to be. And I just said it like that. And I was like, and if you're not a team player and if you aren't, so, you know, I talked about like trust and contribution and that I expected them right from the get-go to launch their business and put themselves out there. And actually I had more people that signed up because I was so direct and forward about my vision and, and how I wanted my business to grow um, versus like, here's all the things I'm going to give you and here's how successful you are going to be right off the bat. So I changed that something to do at the end. Just make sure they know your heart, what kind of a team you are. Um, I think that that is super important. And then definitely I do like an income post where I will share my first two years of income and kind of the progression and I talk about how I I only made $27 my first month as a coach you know and I talk about you know oh and then not having a social media following because that's always a big fear too so I just find different ways to talk about that stuff each and every week it gets a little redundant but I try to switch it up if I can um let's see what do you set up for your channel with your posts and scripts? Do you hand over a doc and let them go through it? Do you individualize each post for each person? No, I do not individualize. Um, and even help all them through. I will help them through conversation. So a lot of times, so script wise, um, here's an example. I sent out the follow-ups yesterday, 80 day obsession follow-ups, coaching follow-ups to be mindset follow-ups. I don't create an extra step. I just copy and paste. And then I have a unit. I created a unit. It used to be a Google doc of just scripts. And I just added it in there. And I was like, Hey guys, happy Monday. Just did my follow-ups for the week. Here were the three emails that I sent. I am giving you these. So you can see my wording so that you can tweak it and make it your own. Today's follow-up day. Did you do your follow-ups? And then I have them comment below. So instead of making more work for yourself and having to get, just give people your ideas. So if you have a good conversation, you're like, nailed it. Like that went really well. 
just copy and paste that into a unit that just says scripts for inviting, scripts for following up, you know, whatever the different ones are, and just kind of add them as you go. Um, but if somebody's struggling with getting somebody to purchase or commit, I just say, send me the screenshots of the conversation and then I give them advice. And so that's, I don't openly offer that, but if I see if somebody is struggling, it'll be more of a one-on-one. -on -one. Otherwise you'll have like a thread of people you have to read through. So I kind of do a more one-on-one -on -one basis. The scripts you give your new coaches. Um, are they, wait, hold on, Becca. The scripts you give your new coaches, are they mostly intended to go with the progress photo? My new coaches struggle with, with putting themselves out there. Do you encourage them to put up any photo, like for their launch post, you mean? Um, so I, it depends on the person. So I will say like your job is every single week is to do Transformation Tuesday because I really want people to see the journey. And so I talk a lot about when I did Insanity, I only was like 11 pounds out of the 30 pounds. And so so I'll show them that picture that was like the picture I first posted on social media. So they can see like I wasn't at my goal weight yet, right? And so I talk about that um, and I encourage them to once they get their first week in, do those photos. And I say, it is a, your, your job is to make your picture look better than it did the week prior. Right. Or, you know, if you're, if your body didn't change, I want you to write down and track all the physical changes, your energy level. So every week you're talking about it from a different angle. So examples of, you know, scripts that you can write out for them are, how to talk about your transformation from an emotional perspective, from a nutritional perspective, from a relationship and confidence standpoint, and then obviously the physical goes in there as well. So that would give them a whole month worth of things to talk about on a Transformation Tuesday that you could help script for them as they're going through the to be mindset. All right. So I think that would be really helpful. Oh, good. Anything else? Yeah. Yeah. Um, Ashley, when you're, when you mentioned the resources specifically, which resources are you talking about? Said it'd be wonderful to see the, like the training, the training pieces. Or was it the transformation Ashley? Tuesday things? Maybe. I don't remember. I don't know if Ashley can come off mute or not. I think she might be. All right. Well, you guys, any other questions for uh, Melanie on this while we've got her here? Or anything else? Melanie, how are you starting to tee up lift four? I mean, I know it's, it's like, it's like we're still like grabbing this out. And one thing, I mean, definitely, I think we're all conscientious of, and we are on the corporate side too. We're like, man, we don't want to stifle to the mindset. Right. Um, momentum and growth. It's still a program that, I think the more we've gotten into it, the more we've realized how much this could revolutionize our business. Mm -hmm. and what an incredible like coaching opportunity program it even is because it's so simple. It's so intuitive. Um, it, you know, people that are not fitness people um, or feel like they're credentialed in fitness or workout people can actually share this. And so we're not wanting to stifle to be mindset by any means, but also want to fully leverage a brand new program where we always see a spike and excitement. So how are you navigating that? And maybe it's big picture right now, because I know it's been a yeah, lot Yeah, I feel, I, I mean, I'm still, do you guys still have momentum from 80 day obsession? Like I still have 80 day obsession momentum. I probably, you know, and so because I'm still doing that program and that's what I'm posting about. And so I just, I feel like, oh my gosh, like another thing. But so and then the whole Today Show thing for 80 Day Obsession, I'm like, oh gosh, that's just like a whole new group of people coming in. So I just sat down this morning and read the FAQ on Lyft. I just read through all the information. I'm going to write a blog post about it, um, and I'm probably going to sponsor that. And then I... I haven't even really started talking about it yet because I haven't been able to do it, you know, so I'm not in the test group or anything. So I think for me, until we have like our team call with Joel, I'm just going to put the information out there. I'm going to send an email to my current customers, anybody that's been in it before to at least get it out there. But I'm just, I'm not ready to talk about it yet because I still have this momentum and 
because the pre-launch is like you can get it on the 11th. I just, I'm going to wait closer to the 16th. So I think if I get my post out, at least to start collecting emails this week, I feel like I will have done my due diligence with the people that are my current customers. But I feel like towards the end of the month, like right around summit, when we, when we talk about it, when we're there, when we can, you know, do the workouts or the picture, like, I think that will be where I'll really start building momentum. So that's kind of how I'm focusing on it for right now, just because I've got so many other things going on that I'm focused on. So that's kind yeah. of my approach. No, and I, and I think that that's great. And I think, um, yeah, I mean, really when it's not going doesn't start till july 16th <laughs> you yeah. know and so even if you're again to collect the information and get things going keep writing the momentum of the other programs and just because yeah. it goes on sale june 11th doesn't mean that you know that you've got to gear up for a huge day on that day in fact you know i i, I would even recommend maybe june 25th is the day that you're really starting to get people in so there's a, a good flow there um yeah anyway yeah Hey, we had yeah. a question. It's a bit off topic, Melanie, but if you'll give us five more minutes of your time, sure. uh, the question is, and I think everyone <laughs> would love to know this, what areas do you delegate and enlist sure. support? Parentheses, Melanie clones. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> distance or real life and virtual. Maybe you see the question there from Jamie. But Okay, yeah, I can totally answer that. Um, one other thing on the lift floor while I'm remembering, I made a Facebook group that I'm putting everybody into as well so that I can go live in. So, and I put that in my blog post so people could just click and join. And then I asked the questions like, do you have a coach? Um, what's your email address? What interests you most about this program? So then I have their email and then that, that's another thing. So that I am going to create with that. So I thought I would share that. Okay. Um, for the clones. So I have a clone and I hired her last year and she's the most amazing person in my entire life. And she works like 32 hours a week for me. Um, and she, I found her locally. I put a job listing on indeed.com and I interviewed a bunch of people that, um, had a lot of social media experience that had done internships, maybe blogging or transcribing um, podcasts and things like that. Cause that was kind of like the direction I was I'm going. And so I found Becca who works for me. And so basically she's virtual. She actually moved. She's living in Pittsburgh. She's going to grad school in Boston, but she is like my wing girl. And I don't think I would survive without her. So a couple of the things that really were helpful is like scheduling all of my challenge group posts. She does all of the scripts for that. She set up all of my units. She took all of my coach training university and took it and put it all into Facebook as units. Um, she makes all of my my graphics for team calls for recognition uh, all my SC my shout outs and then she puts them in a folder for me and then I type up my recognition and post it on Thursday so anything administrative she can do um, the lift for blog post I was like here's the FAQ here's this can you pull all the images can you write the blog post make it a draft and I'll go in and add my own wording. So she's doing all of my lift for launch stuff for me. And then all I have to do is pop in and make my video and add in my extra wording. So, um, like that kind of stuff that takes a lot of time, but anybody can do that. And I was really careful when I was interviewing her to make sure that she understood that this is my baby and this is my business. And the, you know, like this, this is like, I've only ever done it by myself. And I really need somebody that can be like an extension of me that can talk like me. Um, and so she's been great. She actually takes all of my live videos from anything I do from Instagram to Facebook. She puts them on YouTube for me. She, I'll tell her like, hey, I wanna make this one a blog post and she'll write the, she'll transcribe it out of my voice into a blog post and then she'll make the infographics that go along with the live video and it's like done pinned to Pinterest and she takes care of that. So that was like a good two and a half hours of my day if I was doing that on my own that she can do for me now. Um, what else? I'm trying to think. Oh, I taught her 
um, because Google Streak is like the bomb. I made all of my snippets for um, every new program that comes out. So I have all my snippets of how to respond when a challenger fills out a challenge group application, everything all the way to the time that they sign up. So I don't actually talk to my customers until they're in my challenge group. And so then I have an entire list and what their goals are and where they came from and then I take it from there. So I interact with my customers once they're in the group. So I don't do, I do all everything with the coach prospects myself. She doesn't touch any of that. That's like my baby. So I want to make sure that they're a good fit before they sign up for me. But we have our Google Street buckets. And she'll do my monthly newsletter. She will any. She helps me plan events. She helps me plan my retreats. She orders all of my t-shirts. Like I mean, everything. Literally, she is. I feel she's like the kitchen sink. I'm like, can you do this? And she's like, I got it. So I will tell you. Like it took me a while to get to that point where I was. I was giving away that much stuff. But sounds like yeah. we need to have her on our next mastermind call to answer questions, right? <laughs> she's, she's actually she's gonna do a call for my my diamonds here next week because I am like you need to delegate because you're you know you can do your job in so much less time if you just delegated stuff out. So yes, so I'm trying to think what else that she does for me. I mean, we have a house cleaner that comes and then obviously I have Matt, which he's like master chef. So he really, he's like food prep and helps, does all the kids stuff. And, and we kind of tag team the rest of like the house stuff. I'm the one that likes to clean. So I clean most of the other days. Yes. So he cooks, I do the cleaning. Somebody that is, cleans That is so cooking. surprising to me. Yeah. Well, Instagram stuff. Does she do Instagram stuff, Becca? Nope. I do all my Instagram stuff. Oh, no, I lied. She makes me, okay, so she used to do, like, when my like page was really doing well, she would do, like, my, so when I have a challenge group that's getting ready to start, I would list out, like, these are the 10 posts that are going to, like, be directed at like a call to action to join my challenge group. And I, and she would come up with the, the post and the image. Well, she's gotten really good at making Insta stories. So if you ever see like the Insta stories where it's like, here's what to be mindset is, she'll make those for me. And then she'll go, okay, Mel, I'm going to post these on Insta stories. So don't do anything right now. And then she'll upload all my stories with my swipe up for people to fill out the application. So I'll just approve them. She'll put them in a folder. And I'll usually say like, I want this one to say, you know, here's what to be mindset is. I wanted to have three transformation photos. I wanted to have like total pounds lost. And then I wanted to have call to action and she'll put those together for me and she'll just use Canva because you can just have the Insta story, um, you know, size right in there. So that's something else. And we'll say, okay, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, you do that Tuesday, Thursday, I do coaching stuff on my IG stories and then I fill in the gaps everywhere else. So she, anything that looks super professional and pretty, I did not do because I am not that creative at all. That is not my wheelhouse. <laughs> um, Becca, she is not salaried. She, but I think we're getting to the point where it's been a year. So she, um, she came to summit with me last year. So I hired her, I think in April of last year, but we give her a part of my quarterly bonus because that helps to cover her health care. Um, but now she's got enough hours that we'll have to do. And this is not my wheelhouse either. This is Matt's. He does all of this. So 401k, I think we have to pay her that this year. So we may get to the point where we make her salary just because I don't want to lose her when she go, when she graduates grad school, because I don't think she's going to be my assistant forever, but I'm going to try to talk her into it as long as she will um, stay my assistant. So those are some of the things we do to try to offset, you know, like what she would be making if she was getting um, benefits or something. She's still under her parents' benefits. So that does help too. So anyways, yes. I do love Google Street. Okay, yes, I would help you guys with that for sure. Can I ask a question that kind of like changes a little bit, but you said you were like, when my like page was doing really well. So I'm just interested in, for you, are you finding, I mean, we all talk about like going from Facebook to Instagram and you have your blog, which has obviously been super established and where you found a lot mm -hmm. of success. Where are you seeing the most success currently finding your challengers and your coaches kind of split amongst all your different social media? Yeah. So I ask on my application where they found me from, because that's my funnel of figuring it out. 
And it literally within 12 months went from 90% Facebook to 95% Instagram. And I find that it's my Insta stories and not my Instagram posts. It is crazy. I will put something on my like page and I will get nothing. I will put something on my Instagram stories and that's where the people will, it is so weird. It just like flipped and I didn't pull back. Like I didn't pull back on my Facebook. I didn't change anything I was doing. It just, I saw that shift, you know, and it just, it's weird. It's kind of frustrating because I feel like I've invested a lot in my life page. Um, I'm not ready to give it up yet because, and I'm not going to, but I don't post on my personal page at all anymore other than like family stuff and my Thursday recognition. That is it. Everything is business page and Instagram. So yeah, yeah, it's weird. It's so weird to see that change the way it did. Awesome. Well, Melanie, thank you so much. We're, we'll, we'll let you go. And, and uh, again, just appreciate you being on here, sharing uh, your systems and your motivation and, and just sure. thank you for you've given us also some things for, for us to look into as a group <laughs> and to continue to get better on. So we appreciate yeah. you being on sure. and uh, yeah, hope everyone has a wonderful day. We will see the group back here next Monday. You guys. Bye, Bye everybody. Take care.